Chapter 3A, Section 3.3, we're going to get into mole conversions. Be able to recognize that one mole equals the molar mass of any compound, that one mole equals Avogadro's number of units, and demonstrate the ability to perform mole conversions. So here I'm presenting you with kind of a map. Notice here's our new conversion factor, one mole. One mole is going to equal the molar mass of any compound on the periodic table. Mass is expressed in grams. So if I wanted to know how many grams are in one mole of sodium, then I would look over here and note the average atomic mass of sodium. So one mole equals 22.99 grams of sodium. Likewise, if I wanted to state if I have one mole of nitrogen, then I would look at nitrogen, and that's equal to 14.007 grams of nitrogen. Depending on your periodic table, they're all rounded off at different decimal places. So now that we understand the difference or the connection between mole and gram, let's now look at the connection between mole and atoms. So one mole of any substance for example, we'll use sodium again. One mole of sodium is also equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms of sodium. Back to our nitrogen example, one mole of nitrogen is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of nitrogen. So we have two different major conversion factors going on here. One mole is equal to molar mass, which is grams. One mole is also equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 units. And I state units because that could be atoms, it could be molecules, it's just gonna depend on the situation. In our map as well, Notice all the way on the left hand side we have what's called X gram. Remember that's going to be things like milligram, kilogram, centigram, etc. But it's also going to be, if we're in the English system, where pounds and ounces are. So your goal, if you have any of these, is going to be to convert it to grams. That's your only option from X gram. You want to convert to grams. From grams, we can go to the periodic table, use the mass, and convert to mole. Then from mole, using Avogadro's number, we can convert to number of atoms. We can go backwards in the map. So if I start you off with atoms, we could convert to one mole. And then from one mole, we could convert to grams by going to the periodic table and getting the mass. From grams, we could convert to X gram, like milligram, kilogram, centigram, pound, ounces, etc. So let's do some examples. How many moles, so moles of magnesium is my question mark, are there in a 97.2 grams of magnesium? So that's my given and what I'm trying to find. So I'm gonna take my given 97.2 grams of magnesium and I'm gonna put it over one. Bring down grams of magnesium. Here's where I am in the map right now. I want to get from grams to moles because this is my question mark, moles. So we're going to go in this direction on the map. I'm going from gram to mole. So from gram to, with the exception of your given, you're always going to use one mole. So we're going to now have to go to the periodic table, go to the periodic table and use the molar mass to go from grams to one mole. So notice here is magnesium and the mass for magnesium is 24.30. 24.30. And now that we're at mole, we're done, so we're going to write equals. Grams of magnesium cancel, and I'm at moles of magnesium. Now we're going to get our answer for this. If you recall, we type in our given number, 97.2. We're going to hit divided by 24.30 equals, and that gives us an answer of 4. Be careful because we have to have our answer in the correct significant figures. This given right here is in three sigs. 
which means my answer should also be in 3 6, so it's going to be 4.00 moles of magnesium. Find atoms of calcium if you're given 85.3 grams of calcium. So here's my question mark, here's my given. We are starting at grams. So here's where I start in the map. We're going to end up on atoms. So this is going to go two steps. We're going to go from grams to mole, and then we're going to go from moles to atoms. So let me put my given over 1, 85.3 grams of calcium over 1. Bring down grams of calcium. Notice we're going from gram to mole, and it's always one mole. So we'll put one mole of calcium at the top. In order to get grams, you go to the periodic table and use molar mass. So we're going to come here, and that's 40.08 grams. We're not finished because we're still trying to get to atoms, so we're going to bring down one mole of calcium. It's always one mole, with the exception of the given. So now from one mole, I'm going to go to atoms by using Avogadro's number. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Okay, now we're going to calculate this. So 85.3 divided by 40.08 times 6.022 e to the 23 is going to equal. And we need to round this to three sig figs, so we're going to have 1.28 drop the rest times 10 to the 24 and that's our answer 1.28 times 10 to the 24 atoms of calcium we're given 6.50 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of zinc and we're asked to find decagrams of zinc so this is what we're starting with at atoms, so I'm starting here, and we're going to go from atoms to decagram, which is all the way on the left at x gram, so we're specifically going to decagram here. So we're going to go first, the plan is to go from atoms to mole, then we're going to go from mole to gram, then we're going to go from grams to decagram. So I'm going to put my 6.5 times 10 to the 23 atoms of zinc over 1. Remember the most important step is to bring down atoms. Bring down atoms of zinc. And I'm going to use this number to convert from atoms to 1 mole. So I'm changing to 1 mole of zinc and for atoms, I have to use 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, I'm going to bring down mole of zinc, one mole of zinc. And from mole, I'm going to gram. So we're going to go to grams of zinc. And if I want grams, I go to the periodic table and use the molar mass. So zinc is here, and the molar mass is 65.39. We're going to do one more step where I bring down grams of zinc and we're going to go to decagrams. It's one decagram equals 10 grams according to your metric conversions. So now let's get our answer. 6.50 e to the 23 divided by 6.022 e to the 23 times 65.39 divided by 10. This will be our answer. Notice that our given is three significant figures. That's only three. Therefore, my answer needs to be one, two, three sig figs, so it'll be 7.06, and that's decagrams of zinc. If you're given 3.2 ounces of nickel, then how many moles of nickel is that? So here's my question mark. I'm starting with ounces, which is here at x gram. From ounces, we're going to be able to go to gram. We're trying to end up at mole, so after we go to gram, we're going to then change to moles and end there. 
So I'll put my 3.2 ounces of nickel over one. Bring down ounces of nickel. And there are 16 ounces in one pound of nickel. Bring down pounds of nickel. And in one pound of nickel, there's 454 grams of nickel. Now, when I bring down grams of nickel, I can go from grams to mole. And in order to go from grams to mole, you have to go to the periodic table and use the molar mass. So for nickel, the molar mass is 58.69. Remember, this step right here is representing the conversion factor that one mole of a substance is equal to its molar mass on the periodic table in grams. So that's the equality you see here. One mole equals the molar mass from the periodic table. Notice I did not use the grams from the periodic table with pounds because this conversion factor is one pound equals 454 grams. So you have to use legitimate equalities between your units for your conversion factors. So now I'm at mole, so we can calculate our answer. So we're going to type in 3.2, and that's divided by 16 times 454, divided by 58.69, and that equals 1.547. Notice that we start with one, two sig figs. So this should only be two sig figs, 1.5 will be our answer. So 1.5 moles of nickel. Now, let's try a VU level problem. See how you do. If I have 25.0 grams of silicon 27, how many neutrons does it have? And this one is off the map. So we'll start with 25.0 grams of silicon over one, times draw a line, bring down grams of silicon. I'm gonna go from grams to one mole by going to the periodic table and getting the molar mass, 28.09. Then I'm gonna go from one mole of silicon to atoms by using Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms of silicon. Here in one atom of this particular silicon isotope, there are how many neutrons? And so we have to do a little bit of math. Remember, the way this symbol would normally be written is silicon with the 27, that's the mass number. Here's the atomic number. And so to get the neutrons, you would do mass number minus atomic number, which is going to equal 13 neutrons. So this has 13 neutrons. So now let's get the answer. You have 25.0 divided by 28.09 times 6.022 e to the 23 times 13 neutrons. And we're going to round this to have based on this number, one, two, three sig figs. So this should be 6.97, drop the rest, times 10 to the 24. So 6. 6.97 times 10 to the 24, and this would be neutrons in silicon 27.